Okay, I just seen something move down there in the water. I don't know what that was. Was that? I hope it wasn't a snake. It could have been a big snake or something. What was that? Oh my goodness. Oh man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is that? Hey, hey, what's up you guys? You made it back and I'm still here. Um, I've been debating on if I want to scratch some water before we go downstream, but I think I'm going to head deeper in the woods because y'all know it gets darker back in there quicker than it does out here, being that it's sort of open. Let's see here. Okay, the water's backing back out. Obviously, the little dam right there hasn't been rebuilt and probably the beaver dam at the island has it either because this water hasn't gotten very high. We're about to see, aren't we? Yes, we are. Ooh. I'm gonna throw my potato right down there just in case. Okay, I don't feel much of anything. Yeah, that water's nice and low down that way. I like how it looks already. Let me see. I think we usually cut through here. Okay, so probably because there's so much water flowing through here, it's going around this way, but if there wasn't water coming from Mega Beaver Dam and it was flowing that way, we know that Beaver Dam at the island was rebuilt. But I don't think it has been because it's not showing signs of it really. We just got our nice flow and we are currently on the island now. We normally come from that way. Awesome. Looking good. Oh, somebody just went by on a side-by-side. -side. Anyway, that right there looks like it's ready to be burned. It looks nice and dry. But this is Beaver Dam at the island, and I don't feel anything that feels like it might have got washed away as if they attempted to start rebuilding. Good. Good, good, good. This is making me not even want to walk any further down because it's flowing. It's flowing right along, you guys, like it's supposed to. dropped pretty deep on me that dam over there is still opened up oh my goobri bay visco by yep got me speaking in tongues wait a minute how did I get that deep oh my goodness I think I stepped too far over that way I don't normally step <laughs> oh man oh man <laughs> I went down 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 There's a property stake. All right, you guys, yeah, man. 
the dam that was right here it's no longer here no rebuild oh wait a minute what's that there yeah. probably something that got washed down I don't feel much of anything I think um okay 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 <laughs> just a little bit further I'm not gonna go across if I don't see anything worth pulling out right here uh oh I see a little bit of something there I do see a little bit Oh. Gotta be careful because the water's high. Oh, yes! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> oh. I think they might have... They might have done a little something right here. Oh, yeah. Yes, they did. That's what I saw. That's not normal. I don't think that's normal build up. Man, now this makes me want to... We're so close. We're so close and we got daylight. We might as well. <laughs> we might as well. I mean, it is flowing right nicely though. Okay, I just seen something move down there in the water. I don't know what that was. Was that? I hope it wasn't a snake. It could have been a big snake or something. What was that? Oh my goodness. You guys, like seriously. Something moved in the water. I, I declare. Oh boy. I really don't want to go across because I got to cross over where I saw it go in. Oh no. Okay, I changed my mind. <laughs> I changed my mind and this headband is so tight on my head. I feel like it's cutting the circulation off. Ooh, I'm ready to take it off. I'm not going. I'm not going any further. I'm sorry. <laughs> It looks like it's flowing the best that it can anyway. Wow. Just the way that the water moved, it, it, it could have been like a big snake that swam off. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm good. <laughs> I am good, you guys. I'm satisfied. <laughs> this will give us a little more time to scratch a little bit more there at mother beaver dam number two who that calling me a punk i hear you that's okay call me what you will <laughs> i'm gonna be a wise punk today <laughs> oh man let me try and uh, avoid stepping right close to the bank where it's so soft at. I tell you though, whew, this headband, I got it too tight. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's not let's not make that same mistake I made earlier.
I usually cross over over there, but there's so much stuff that's falling. See where I cut the tree right there? I used to go under there, but that's just too much stuff. I'm gonna save y'all some walking, even though I know y'all like to walk with me. I'll check back in when I get closer to Mother Beaver Dam number two. And we're getting closer. See how much the water has drained. I despise stepping down in here. But when I try to jump over, I always slide down in it anyway. For all you newcomers, what was that? Squirrel. We got a cornfield right over there. You see the skyline? It's right there. You see all these trees? Look. Most of them are dead because at some point they've been girdled. And those trees can fall right on in the field. So I'm trying to prevent that from happening but on top of that uh if they keep it dammed up out here and down there and everything it'll keep the water backed up to the road yes so i'm not just out here just doing this just to be doing it there's purpose <laughs> oh boy anyway we're back here to mother beaver dam number two by the debris pal I actually forgot about Mega Beaver Dam because um, I was thinking about sitting up here and digging out some. I'm not going to do that because I want to get back over to Mega Beaver Dam. I don't intend to be out here much longer because I'm wore out. So I'm not going to be out here trying to make extra work for myself. <laughs> no ma'am and no sir. I like how that's flowing. I do. I like how that's flowing. I can still smell the burn smell. And it's been, it's been at least three weeks now. At least. We hadn't got much rain uh, since we've burned. I guess that's part of the reason why. Uh, oh boy. Woo. Limbo. Oh, and something got me anyway. Part B, still flowing nicely. Still crashing up here. I know y'all heard it when I stopped. I might have to do something about this because uh, that's not letting enough water through there, man. I mean, it'll eventually go down. It will. And actually, I think I probably can cut that now. So, I mean, that's not down in there. So that's not the problem. That right there is the problem. And it's all the way back there. So really, I guess. Oh! <laughs> That's one way to break through, huh? <laughs> Me standing on it, it fell. It broke. I think that piece right there. Wow, that's way up under there. How did you get way under there like that? Is 
This looks so messy in here. You're broken. Why are you still hanging on? I'm trying to hang on there. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> anyway, I'm moving on, man. It's gonna drain eventually. We just get to give it some time. I'm being too lazy to get my saw out. That's what. That's what the real deal is. Yep, I don't see any rebuild there. Ooh, I'm ready to take this backpack off too, man. My shoulders, oops, wait a minute. Why does this look, why does this look so different? Got me feeling like I'm going the wrong way. I guess that thing right there is falling more. Check that out. It's flush some of the sand out. There's no more water right here. There was water here when we came in. Oops, frog. <laughs> Trying to scare me. Sounding like a turd plopping in the water. <laughs> Oops. Was that too fresh for y'all ears? <laughs> Oh man, I'm a clown. It's good to laugh. Laughing is medicine for the soul. Y'all remember it was flowing through here? It probably didn't take it long to stop after we tore out those two dams over there. I guarantee you, when we get on the other side of the road, that very first dam area, it's gonna look different. I tell you the truth, when I get on the other side of the road, I, <laughs> I ain't really gonna feel like doing nothing. I really just wanna see how it looks. Back out here where there's more light. Uh, Boy. Getting my steps in for the day, that's for sure. Mm. Oh. 
my shoulders are screaming. I can already see the water levels going down. Already. From the culvert here. There's a... There's a uh, piece of wood in front of that culvert, but it's not really doing anything. And I'm... I don't like going right at the mouth at a culvert because I know it's deep. Yes, absolutely. Check it out. Well, I say this. <laughs> it's back down to where it was when we first came in. Because I guess I... What I was looking at is where the water had got high from us opening up Mega Beaver Dam and it's dropped back down. So that's what I'm looking at along the banks of the creek there. Oh, mosquito. Let's get some more of this out of here. Terrell, take the backpack off, boy. Wow. I'm up here trying to do this with that extra weight. Uh-oh. Getting a few sniffles. Tend to do much. Just wanted to get a little more. <sighs> oh man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh. That's where it got hung up at. Ooh. Yeah, all of that is from Mega Beaver Dam, I'm sure. Found a resting place right here. We don't want it to fill up this hole. Oh man. Yeah, beavers might we reuse that right there downstream. Since it was still in the water. What's that over there? Did I do that? Did I do that? <laughs> All right, man.
Man, it's drained, but boy, they got so much mud there. So much mud. And I didn't, oh gosh, this thing always catches me. I didn't bring the shovel. It's drained though. I'm really debating on if I want to get back down there, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, get it, get it. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna spend just a few, a few minutes seeing how it feels here. It looks like a bunch of mud. Come on, come on, man. Why you want to do that? Oh, man, that's useless. That, that, <laughs> digging that over there, that's useless. Without the help of water. I be them passed out. We gonna dwell with where it's flowing at. I really don't see where the water came from to get back as high as it was. So all they got to do is plug up where it's flowing right there and it'll start building up and they'll start rebuilding back there. It'll be pushed back again. You can see every layer <laughs> from where we first started where we didn't go all the way across how the mud is banked up. Be careful because this thing is still dropping. As long as I can feel what feels like a possible bottom. Oh boy. I guess I'll stay right here. Got it flowing again, huh? Oops! 
Well, we know that this normally happens with a new potato rake. We gotta glue it. <laughs> Y'all remember this one was a new one and we had it at Beaver Drive and I snatched it up. So I guess it's got enough usage now to where that came off. But that's all right. Like I said, we've had to glue all of them. I guess after a while, somebody will be calling that a beaver lodge. <laughs> what is that? To say that snake skin okay that's something else oh man The deeper the better. As you can see, it's drained it more. It's not very wide, but. <clears throat> oh, that's where it drops. Coming a leg workout. It's hard out here. I guess if I The mouth of it opened up. Woo, soupy.
amazing how they move all this mud. Wow. I'm trying to push some while I'm walking. It gets high right here. <sighs> All right, you got. I'm done. I am done. Yep, we'll get one last look at it before I wrap things up. Definitely no need to walk upstream there. No need whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah, we've done good for the day, you guys. Absolutely. All right, you guys, about to wrap the video on up. I just noticed, oh my goodness. It's actually more than I've seen before, but they have started girdling this tree right here. They probably got more on the backside that I can't see, but anyway. Like I said, we about to wrap this video on up, man. And before we go, I just want to encourage you that nothing can separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. When you are in Christ, meaning you have your faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the mercy and the grace of God, wow. Wow. It has been extended to you because of the sacrifice that Jesus Christ has made. And no matter what you face in life, no matter what you've done, what you may do, that's another good thing. Now, I'm not telling you to go out there and abuse grace, but what Jesus has done has covered even our future mess ups. Like I said, I'm not telling you to go out there and do something crazy. All right. <laughs> no, grace is not a license to sin all right but we're just so grateful that when we're in christ that his finished work on the cross causes us to be forgiven we are eternally forgiven because of god's love for us that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life that's what the love of god is that he gave his son. And I hope and pray that as you keep hearing that message, that's the gospel, that one day you will, if you have not already, give your life to Christ. And even if you're already saved, when I say things like this, that it will renew your hope, it will renew your faith, it will strengthen you, it will push you to continue to want to serve the Lord in spite of what you're going through. So anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. Hey, make sure you share these videos. Make sure you smash that like button for us and throw a comment in the comment section and let me know what's on your mind, all right? Stay tuned. I don't know where we're going next. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to promise anything, all right? <laughs> Just stay tuned, all right? But anyway, Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.